Hello, third graders. We're jumping back into a reading lesson today, and our essential question for this week is what choices are good for us? And our objective, what we're working on while we read, is I can ask and answer questions about what I read. So we're going to be reading another folktale today, and if you remember, folktales um, are stories that come from different customs and beliefs from different countries and regions around the world. They often try to teach us a lesson and have some wise and hardworking characters. While you're reading, I want you to have that essential question in the back of your head. What choices are good for us? All right. Once long ago, Papa and I were walking for miles on a long and winding country road. Finally, we approached a large farm surrounded by fields of healthy vegetables. Papa, I'm so hungry, I said. Papa patted my head and winked. I smiled and nodded back. I admired my papa. I knew he would find a way to get us a warm meal. We knocked on the door and a well-dressed man and his wife answered. So right now I might make a prediction. I think that the dad is gonna ask these people at this house if they can have some of their food because his kid is really hungry and he wants his kid to get fed. Hello, said Papa. My son Eric is hungry. Ooh, we know an Eric. Could you please spare a morsel of food? The man shook his head. We have lots of food, but we cannot afford to give it away, to, he said. Well, I could cook my flavorful nail soup if you would donate a small cup of hot water, said Papa. The woman looked at her husband. Soup from a nail? She said that's impossible. But the man's curiosity overwhelmed him, so he brought a small cup of boiling water. Hmm, do you guys think eating nail soup is a good choice? Papa carefully took out a long, crooked nail and with one graceful motion dropped it into the cup. He stirred the cup of hot liquid. This began to smell wonderful, said Papa. I smiled at Papa. He was clever and charming, and my admiration for him grew. He could do anything. Then I remembered something he taught me. Papa, it is impolite for me to eat nail soup without offering some to everyone, I said. But there is such a small amount here. We can't let the boy eat alone, said the man to his wife. We can spare more water. The woman filled a big pot with water and put it on the stove. When the water boiled, Papa placed the nail into the pot, stirring and sniffing the air. The aroma is good, but it would be much more aromatic with an onion. Have you any old onions? The woman gave Papa three small onions and he dropped them into the pot. Papa remembered how luscious nail soup was with carrots, I asked. The man jumped up and pulled four plump carrots from a large basket of vegetables to the floor, on the floor. How about some beets and cabbage too, he said. I can spare a few of those. And here are some potatoes and green, be and green beans, the woman interrupted. They are healthful and nutritious contributions. We grow them ourselves. Papa dropped the vegetables into the boiling water while the man grabbed a variety of spices and meats. Here, add these too, he said enthusiastically. Soon the soup was ready and we sat down to eat. I knew the man and his wife would enjoy nail soup. This soup is amazing. Um, sorry, I lost my spot, said the woman, and all from one nail and a pot of boiling water? Papa pretended to be surprised by her amazement, but as usual, he had a perfect answer. What did you expect, he said. I told you it would be flavorful. The man and woman smiled. We just didn't know that sharing a little of our great wealth would taste so good. All right, so third graders, why is making nail soup a smart choice? And I wanna know how do you feel when you make smart choices? I'm also gonna put two questions um, in the discussion about the story. And I want you to answer using um, information from the text. So if you need to re-listen to the story, you'll have to do that. And please write in complete sentences. All right, I'm excited to hear your responses.